Hello, dear friends. Today we will see some magnificent pictures, my own authorship. Here are two editions of the original rich art, Valentine Tortic. The first set is dedicated to my search meaning on earth and unrest in the social environment. These observations I expressed in the form of hypercollages, in the style of critical symbolism with elements of fine art. I will describe the content of the paintings in this video and at the end of the video I will tell you about the new direction in which I work. Support the video by likes. Tell me what you like in the comments and it would be best if you send this video to whoever you want. The first picture is called The Creator. I dedicated a picture of the path to self-knowledge. The surrounding foreground is a dynamic energetic space, it is held by a person who folded his hands in meditation. Cold color of the body and face, a static cast in the middle ground. Imperative epicenter of the picture, opposite bright red reminiscent of a burning fire. Spherical hands talk about focus a straight neck also speaks of this. Harsh lips of William Defoe, emphasize the focus of the mind, simultaneously broadcasting indifference to the environment. Antique straight lips, this speaks of neutrality. The edge of the lip begins with a staircase, which shows the metaphor of the word. A figure climbs the ladder around consciousness merged with the core of the universe. The fire around was heated beyond the understanding of color. And at the end of the stairs a figure comes out outside the picture. Conscious versus unconscious The painting is about a dream. Higher states of consciousness in the center depicted as a giant naked mouth. He is a ship in the electric ocean of consciousness. Unconscious surrounding consciousness. Sends messages in the form of knives. Each knife brings a new meeting or acquaintances. The smallest knives are reminiscent of childhood. Behind them flying knives of love, similar to tree bones. Later, the knives of the events of direct meetings fly in episodes of everyday life. The mouth also grows out of the unconscious. This indicates a direct relationship between one and the other. On the side margins are knives, denoting a cipher in the form of a chronicle. Wide knives, show stripes. Short knives, show dots. Reading from bottom to top the message encrypted with signs is transmitted to the viewer. Good times. A man on a burning tree, in despair, saved from a bear. Around the forest, now the fire. At the same time, a huge black hole, engulfs the universe. The human phantom figure is depicted in black, but his heart is full of optimism and naive, emphasized by the antipode of black, white. The cartoon is dedicated to the conversion, altruist in society. It is catastrophic that the safety of the picture, degrades from the growth of danger in the composition. Rebirth of Man this work is from my current less than less than permanent surrealism greater than greater than, on a semicircular convex plate, spontaneously depicted six sketches. 
The whole picture is a triptochoicy experiment. The background is black like a slate board, as if an image had been carved into it. Patterns and lines from the scenes, as spontaneous as possible. Uniform. Which emphasizes the connection of all scenes in the picture together. Only light and saturation of shades, conveys the intent and difference of the scenes. Scene 1 equals the figure of a woman is depicted, bending her body in agony, covering her head. Scene 2 equals the reaper who made the pitchfork, he covers the eyeless monster with his right hand. Scene 3 equals harvester riders in the storm. Three horses are hidden behind the vortices, the riders gallop together. Wind and space are crushed on the sides. Scene 4 equals an image ridiculed by the elements. Monstrous claws and massive boulders destroy silhouettes of humanoids under them. Scene 5 equals aspiring huge reaper, lifts structures with one hand, and the second stretches to the edge. The fortified figure indicates confidence in decisions. Scene 6 equals king's alias, breaking its boundaries. The image is made of mutilations, demonstrating many actions. A greedy and wide look shows power. The loss of limbs symbolizes the loss of humanity. Why did you leave me? The picture is dedicated to the feeling of parting. The silhouette of the observer is placed in the center of the picture. His gaze is directed upward, whence only the right hand of light appears. Here the observer is the only figure outlined in white. Or alive. Survivors. The figures surrounding him are rendered impersonal and gray. The father from the center the deader, expressing indifference. This is a symbol of the degradation of culture. Hands stretching towards the center symbolize consumption. The pernicious scene is exaggerated by the environment of the beholder, also consisting of a deadly cave decor. Why only me? Humorous cartoon, presents you my surprise, when I turned into a cat. Location open space filled with the energy of life. Ferris wheel where I am represents a playful way of acting. Lit up to convey a panic situation. The exaggeration of the situation ended in a whirlpool, where the swirling crests of shark predators are found. All parts of the picture are round and warm colors, representing the unification of the gaze with the viewer. Despite the criticality and danger, the picture is depicted as light and evokes humorous feelings. The picture is dedicated to accidents, and fatal experiences.
Avenue Mitra My Invented Discovery in Art Permanent Surrealism Connection of a momentary manifestation of an image in nature representing a cult argument of sensual philosophy. The Hour A Moment of Doom Deep in Space the last light emits a bright wave faded in the endless darkness. Fates squeezed in the form of a grain. Small elements formed the skull. Symbol of fate and entropy. Waiting night The overall composition is further separated, medium frame, highlighting the action in the center. This line shows the possibility the existence of the personal and the public together. The image of a white tiger falls on the abstraction of skyscrapers, proving the superiority of nature over urbanism. It is noticeable that both images are composed of small grains. Forms represent the dualistic path of knowledge. Take shine in the grains of the jelly mass aligned with shiny packaging. Demonstrating flexibility and variety of methods of communication. The image puzzle folds into human heart. Representing the sensuality of the environment. The conflict is that a shattered heart dangles nakedly in endless space. The picture conveys the state of discovery. Muse. The painting represents a child at play. Gentle and careless presentation, folded in a multi-level composition. Almost the entire image is permeated with the action of collecting the image. Broad pink strokes show the output of the image to a feet. The image frames the innocent childish color. <laughs> 